So this I believe to be crack willow, what's called brittle willow, Salix fragilis. Um, it looks a lot like our native black willow and unfortunately hybridizes with it, but it tends to be white underneath, as you can see here, um, and it lacks stipules uh, at, at the base of the, of the, uh, of the leaves. This is a, a newly introduced type of species. We don't know how bad it is, but we do know that by hybridizing with our native, that's probably not a good thing. But you can see from all the leaf damage and so forth that it does seem to supply some kind of wildlife value. This particular crack willow patch that we have over here, and again, here's a look at the bark, so you get a look at that. Um, I'm not even sure what I'd even call it crack or brittle willow because it's pretty bendable like a lot of willows. We're probably going to see about using this for an art project where they need, uh, they need to harvest some flexible pieces at certain sizes for making some kind of craft projects. And then guess what? Um, in doing so, I don't feel bad that we're losing any valuable tree because this is a tree that we normally don't want around here anyways. So this is crack willow or brittle willow. Celex fragilis and introduced and likely, fair, uh, according to Ma Ipsy, the Mid-Atlantic Pest Council, it seems to be an invasive species in the Mid-Atlantic. So, unfortunately, something we don't want here because we don't want it hybridized. We don't want it to take over. And that is what we have here. Crack willow. And unfortunately, we have quite a bit of it. These are crack willows, too.